So here we'll basically set up the projection shader. So here you can see a uh, test render that I did with simple geometry, simple cards bent, uh, and then that's the actual render that I have from here. So what we'll do is we'll actually create the shader, which will start out as a Lambert. So you basically select down to your Lambert shader. There you go, Lambert. And there's just a few parameters you want to change. So rename this test prod shader just for the demo. And basically you want to pipe in, so left click ambient color. Go down to a file dialog. You're going to right click create as projection. Change projection type as perspective. Then you'll get linked to camera, and this will be the projection cam that you created. You want it to be match camera film gate. Click left click for the file, turn off filter type, and then go find your image file uh, for the uh, element that you're doing. So right now you're piping in the color version of your image. So I just have to find my folder. there's the sky. Uh, maybe I'll use the background actually. So let's do the background mesa. There you go. There you can see it piping through. Where is the shader? There it is, test projection. So now we want to pipe through the translucence, the transparency. And we're just going to do the same type. So go left click file or right click, create as projection, proj type, perspective, change link to camera to your proj cam. Click over, change quadratic to off, and then find your texture, which is just the alpha for that element. Now you want to scroll down to effects and click invert because Maya likes to invert or deals with uh, alphas in the opposite way you would expect. So click your geometry and then right click over test projection and assign it. Now you can see it comes in black and that's where we want the color fully illuminated to white and then take the diffuse down to zero, translucency and uh, translucency depth. And here you can see image looks correct. So color white, transparency pipe with the projection shader, ambient with the projection shader, diffuse translucency um, all zeroed out. And now you basically have a working shader so now you can duplicate it. Uh, didn't work. So edit. Yeah, I'm not sure. So select your shader. Edit. Duplicate. Shading network. And now you have a complete duplicate. You can name it whatever you want. And the only thing you need to keep in mind is that duplicate is going to make a duplicate projection camera which you don't want, it's unnecessary. So just select the new proj cam, delete it. You want to just pipe in our regular proj cam. And then you basically just need to relink it in the shader. So you just select the shader, go to transparency and ambient color, find your link to camera, and then relink to proj cam one. And that's basically it. And it's just repeat, repeat for as many elements as you need.